Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 in 2018. So first what we need to do is go ahead and go to the first link in the description and make sure we get the right iTunes version. So we need to have either iTunes 11.0.0 to 11.0.5.5 here for any operating system, Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit, but you have to have any of those five versions from 11.0.0 to 11.0.5. If you need to know how to downgrade iTunes on a Windows PC, I will leave a link in the description to an article on how to do this on my website. Now you need to go to the second link in the description to download the correct Red Snow. So you need to download 0.9.15 Beta 3 for Mac or for Windows. So go ahead and just click on your operating system and click here to download. I've already downloaded it. Now you need to go to the third link in the description and go to IPSW.me. So now you need to select your device that you're going to be jailbreaking on iOS 5.1.1. So for me, it's the iPad 1. So I'm going to click iPad and then find the exact model, which is iPad 1. Click here and click download. And once again, I've already downloaded it. If you're using an A5 device, meaning an iPad 2 or an iPhone 4S, in this case, you do not have to download the IPSW. So you can skip that step. So now what you need to do is go ahead and find your downloads. This does not have to be done on a Windows XP computer, but that's just the laptop I have in this room right now. So that's what I'm using. So now once you download these, you need to go ahead and extract Red Snow by, you can right click on it. And for most Windows and Mac, you can click Extract All. On Mac, you'll click Open With and click Archive Utility and click Extract All. So now I'll just let it extract and it should extract your desktop the same for the Mac. On the Mac you still have to have the correct iTunes version although I have heard it's a lot harder to download it. So I would highly recommend doing this on a Windows PC. So once you have extracted Red Snow you can go ahead and open it. For any operating system newer than Windows XP you'll need to right click on it and go to properties and then compatibility. Click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows XP Service Pack 2 or 3 either will work. But if you're already using Windows XP, it will work fine as is. So you can go ahead and open up Red Snow and run it. This is assuming you have iTunes 11 already installed. So if you have an A5 device, an iPhone 4S or iPad 2, as I mentioned earlier, all you'll have to do is click jailbreak. If not, go ahead and click extras, select the 5.1.1 IPSW you downloaded earlier, go back and now click jailbreak, click yes. You're gonna wanna use the SSH RAM disk method. So let it do its thing now. So now make sure install Cydia is selected. I'm not going to install a custom bundle, but now you need to go ahead and put your device into DFU mode. Do not take a screenshot like I just did. That was an accident. So go ahead and turn off your device. So to put your device into DFU mode, all you need to do is hold the home and power for 10 seconds and then just continue holding the home button until the exploit has finished running. So go ahead and start the process. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now continue holding the home button and go ahead and we'll wait till it connects to your computer. You'll hear a ding noise, hopefully, just like that. Now you can go ahead and click next and it's going to start exploiting with number one. Go ahead and keep holding the home button though. And now it's going to start uploading the first stage and the second stage, hopefully, or maybe it will just start rebooting. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done this. So it should start uploading just like that. You should be able to take your finger off the home button, but hopefully it will continue to jailbreak. So we'll see what happens. So now it's uploading the second stage and your screen will start to turn on just like this. Now it should start booting up just like or hopefully it says waiting for reboot. So now you are getting the SSH RAM disk. That is what is it, it is inserting right now. So hopefully the jailbreak itself will begin soon, or I believe that's what it's doing right now at least. So now it says it's about to reboot and I guess you're gonna get a verbo boot. That's cool. I did not expect to get that actually. Okay, so now you will get the pineapple logo on your screen and the jailbreak process will begin. I'm just going to set this iPad right here and I'll be back as soon as it is done. So 
So now once the jailbreak process has finished, your iPad should be at a black screen and now you should just be able to unlock it normally and your Cydia should be on the home screen. Congratulations, you are now jailbroken. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like being extra awesome, go ahead and drop a like on this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And as usual, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Also, the exact version of iTunes I use was iTunes 11.0. So if you have issues with any of the other iTunes versions, just try that one. That should work for you. That's the one I used. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.